today I'm going to start with the potato uh, because it looks like this. Or you guys have probably seen in my last videos, it had a lot of leaves and things and it was growing pretty good. Well, the reason I had to resort to this drastic measure was because the potato leaves were starting to get seriously infested with aphids. And being inside, you know, I can't let a bunch of ladybugs loose because if I do, they'll be flying all around my room. And uh, so I just, I didn't want to do all that. So I had to take a drastic measure and cut all the, the uh, vines off and get rid of the aphids altogether. So I wasn't sure how I got aphids before, but I think I discovered the, um, the source. When I was out at Harvest Moon one day, we were picking some plants and I brought them in to identify. And uh, of course I never identified the plant in particular, but I set it down over here on the shelf by the fish tank. And uh, the other day I was outside in the same area, there were some people that left uh, a box spring mattress out by the dumpster. And I figured I would harvest the wood so I could use it. And uh, so I did. I, I took the box spring, cut the cloth off of it, and took my wrecking hammer and some other tools and pulled the wood out of there. And uh, as I was doing that, I noticed a bunch of aphids crawling around over the area that I was working in, so I'm pretty sure that's where they came from. So, uh, uh, if you ever do that, be careful what you bring in, because it might infest your plants, like I did. So, this is going to be growing back, I think. Um, it's just a matter of time. One thing I wanted to show you here, though, while the water was down because of the my fish tank, is that because these were sitting, the potato was sitting more in the water, these uh, sprouts on the potato started growing roots on them. And I've got areas of roots on the potato too that you can't really see in this shot uh, that have roots growing off of it too. Look at that root ball. The thing is thick and it keeps growing. So I'm pretty happy with that and I'm pretty convinced that these are going to grow back eventually. And I'm not going to bring any more plants in from outside. So yeah, that's my potato. The fish tank's kind of dirty right now, sort of cleaning it out. I'm going to show you a dirty fish tank. Um, but anyway, there is the tomato plant that I planted in here. It doesn't get a whole lot of light, so it's not really growing too fast. And uh, I told you I got some wood here. Well, that wood that I got out of that uh, box spring, I built these shells with. And actually, I did that the day before yesterday kind of doubled my windowsill space so I've got all these plants down here on the bottom except for right there because that's where I put the curtain whenever the curtains are closed um, but yeah I got all these little plants on the bottom and I've got these plants up here on the top so I've got some extra space in here so let's talk about these plants all right these little guys are bell peppers, and uh, they were pretty sickly before. These are the ones that were in the pods, and they weren't growing too well, so I replanted them in this pot, and I've been taking care of them. And they're starting to come back. they got some new leaves in them, like right there and right over there. Uh, this is my aloe vera. He's kind of grown slow. He's not getting very big very fast, but you know he's doing all right. And as long as he's alive and growing, that's all I care about. Uh, lemon seeds don't appear to be growing too well, and neither do the sour sop seeds. This little guy in here, that's an apple seed. I watched a video that said, uh, oh, and these are apple. These are apple tree seedlings, too, from the same apple. I got five seeds out of that apple, and so far three of them have sprouted. I got a fourth one sprouting right now that I'll probably plant tomorrow. Uh, but anyway. I saw a video where a guy actually put some seeds in a refrigerator for about two weeks and they supposedly sprouted in there. So I got a lunch meat container that I, you know, bought lunch meat in. It's kind of like a little Tupperware that comes like that. And after I ate all the lunch meat out of it, I cleaned it out and I put some paper towels in it. And I laid the seeds on top of the paper towels and I wet the paper towels, put the lid on, stuck it in the fridge, like in the video. Well, they never sprouted while they were in there. So I pulled them out after two weeks 
and the front living room doesn't have any air conditioning. So I stuck them on the little entertainment center we have in there, kind of above the TV. So they get plenty of warmth in there. So they started sprouting. I've got three sprouts in here. Like I said, I've got this one who I just planted yesterday. Uh, these two that I planted a few days ago. And uh, I've got one that's starting to get a little root on it right now. And then I've got a fifth one. And uh, hopefully I'll have five little apple trees in here. Uh, I'm doing the same thing with a soap nut, which is kind of where this came from. I don't think these guys are going to live. I might have to buy some more soap nuts and try again. But the uh, soap nuts make the soap nut tree where you get more soap nuts. And um, of course you can use those to wash your laundry with and make shampoo and soap and all kinds of other things. But it takes a long time for those to actually start making nuts. I don't know how long, but you know, I'll see with my own trees. Alright, uh, little apple. These are little gojis. They're not really coming back that much. These are kind of slow growing. They got a little bit of green, a little bit of green on them. I think they'll do all right eventually, but they're just not growing very fast. This is watercress, a semi-aquatic plant or an aquatic plant. I'm not sure which, but it likes water, so there's a lot of water in here. This is a little tomato seedling here, and. Uh, this is my cilantro that I pulled out of my pods. It's got a couple new leaves, but it's not really growing as fast as my first cilantro plant did. Alright, so this is the plant that I had in the living room, because now I've got more space I can put it in here. And I didn't know what we planted in here, but what we've got here now is a basil. And I'm not sure what those are. I think those might be little peppers. Those might be little peppers. I'm not sure. We'll see. And, uh, up here we have strawberries I'm really anxious to see them put some flowers out again so I can sprout some more strawberries the goji plant has fallen over sort of when it was sitting over here that's where it started growing up towards the ceiling or the ceiling top of my window there and it started uh, growing over to the side so I guess with it bending over like this it has more room to grow anyway Oh yeah, that's my goji. My pineapple mint right here is coming back pretty nice. I'll be harvesting that eventually. This is basil. My bunch of little basil seedlings. This is my moringa tree. Or I, mean, I should say moringa tree since there's four of them in there. There's the stalks of each one. Leafing away. That browner one right there is the older one, and then I ended up planting three seeds around it, so the little green ones are the newer ones. And what we have in here, now that they finally started sprouting, this is catnip. And I can tell, because of those leaves right there, that that's catnip. Of course, there's only two little sprouts in here. Or, you know, I'm hoping that more will sprout, but it doesn't matter. I mean, these will grow, and it's fine. And right below it, <coughs> I have... Spearmint that finally started sprouting. It's pretty nice. And uh, that's it for the plants here in the bedroom. We'll go do the ones in the kitchen. And so these are the little containers where I'm sprouting the seeds. I've got uh, apple in one of them, soap nuts in the other, and I have sour sop in uh, one of these. Now, I don't know which one's which, but basically, uh, <clears throat> I'll take this over the table and show you what I did. Uh, this is a lunch meat container that I bought <clears throat> at Target, and uh, it's good because it's plastic, so it holds the moisture in. These are soursop seeds in here. So what I got is I got uh, I laid a paper towel in there and I laid the seeds on top of the paper towel. Put a second paper towel on top of it. And then I put water in there and the paper towels, both of them soaked up the water so the seeds get moisture. And of course it's pretty warm in here. They like to sprout in heat and they don't like so much light while they're still seeds. Uh, so they sprout. So that's why I keep them in here. You see there's the TV 
and uh, this is right above the TV where it gets some warmth. And this is like a big freaking huge TV here. I tell it probably puts out a lot of heat. I can't afford a flat screen yet. Um, that'll be one of the days. But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of heat here, so it helps keep the seedlings warm. And uh, that's where I sprout them. When they sprout, then I go ahead and put them in some dirt. And I'm going to grow up in there like the apple seeds. Over here, I'll, we have our son's little twig. But guess what? Her little twig is sprouting a little branch at the bottom. I'm actually happy to finally see that. So pretty soon this thing's going to have some leaves and it's still alive. I'm happy. And this is going to be those primrose again. This is another one that I planted. The harvest moon and I planted and I couldn't remember what was in here. But we have here's peppers of some kind. Okay. Over here we have uh, our smooth little child that just keeps going. This is a little wormwood sprout. And these are little wormwood sprouts. There's no lettuce there. I don't know what the heck that is. It's a weed or it's a lemon seedling, lemon tree seedling, but I think it's a weed. Dirt. Dirt. Those both are supposed to be lemon tree seedlings. Pepper, I need to replant him so he'll start growing more. Two more. Tomato plants right there. I just picked these up by the dumpster this morning. Anyway. Somebody had thrown out about four of these things and I picked one up. Alrighty boy. Don't know what it is or what it's good for, but I'll figure it out. And this is mainly for Katrina because she likes flowers anyway. So uh, I'll just grow it. I'll take care of it, try to bring it back, see what it turns out to be like. Uh, here are the so called. There's a little croton. If I'm pronouncing that right, it sure sounds funny how I ever pronounce it. And uh, they still haven't planted their little. I still haven't planted those little terrariums yet, but uh, I expect that'll be soon because we're going out and getting some bigger pots on Sundays with this Father's Day. And I'm a dad. Yay! Alright, now to the kitchen. So this is one of Harvest Moon's plants. We got it out of a little uh, gumball machine. And I uh, thought that was pretty cool. I think it's some kind of grass. I don't know what kind. Maybe wheat grass? I don't know. I can't tell. It didn't say what kind of plant it was that would grow on a little bitty bubble that came in. It's doing alright. These things sprouted pretty fast. And they're growing pretty fast. So we'll see what they turn out to be. And uh, over here in the window, we have clover, kind of nice. We have sunflowers there. They're kind of skinny and spindly, so maybe the pot's too small for them. Here we have the pot that I planted the dandelions in, and looks like we got a dandelion. I saw another one in there somewhere, but I've got at least two here. And, okay, the witch hazel hasn't sprouted yet. And uh, these are my two biggest tomato plants now, right there. So, like I said, I'm definitely going to have to replant these in the bigger pots. So we're going out Sunday. I'm going to try to get bigger pots more dark. And here are my peppers. These are two little peppers are still on here. There's a little curly cue back there. That one right there is getting nice and tall. I'm kind of proud of that. And look, he's got flowers. That's chemical him, so he's going to be producing pepper soon. I'm really excited about that. Anxious to see. And uh, yeah, there you go. Pepper plants. Alright, well, that's my update for this time. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you all next time. Bye.